I believe that water will one day be employed as fuel, that hydrogen and oxygen, which constitute it, used singly or together, will furnish an inexhaustible source of heat and light. These beliefs are one among the many striking literary reminders that adorns the living room of Mr. Daniel D. Dingle. Some associates call him Engineer Dingle, while some would refer to him as Dr. Daniel Dingle. I call him Sir Daniel Dingle to bestow upon him the due respect, earned admiration, and God-given wisdom. My friends fondly would call him Tatai for his candid admonitions. First of all, Mr. Daniel D. Dingle is a Filipino patriot at heart. He has withheld his invention at the last minute in 2004 when he was about to sign a contract to commercialize his invention with a U.S.-based corporation. It was to be a 70-30% share in his favor. He was to sit as the chairman of the board of Dingle Corporation. He gets, among other things, a disclosure fee of several million U.S. dollars, a royalty fee, and an assured capitalization for the production and marketing of his projects. But he did not push through. What stopped him? It is almost 39 years today when he started to see success of his invention with a prototype. In his words, sayang naman ho kung hindi ko ma-share ang aking invention, di ba? Sayang naman kung mapunta sa ibang bansa ang aking invention, di ho ba? In October 2007, Cyber Technologies Company, while searching for the equipment in their promotion for ecological waste management, met Mr. Daniel D. Dingle. It was a serendipity. From there on, Mark trips to the Department of Energy, the Department of Science and Technology, the National Power Corporation, the Philippine Institute of Pure and Applied Chemistry in Ateneo de Manila, the Office of the Intellectual Property Philippines, and the Filipino Inventors Society. These visits to the Philippine agencies was to work out attempts to work his projects in tandem with the Philippine government. Did anyone listen? How long will he wait? It would it be right for him to wait? To wait for the Philippine government. His invention would definitely propel the Filipino people and the Philippines in the map with respect, dignity, and integrity. He waited, he said, for the right time. But how long should he wait further? Let us hear from the gentleman. Well, you, we here, uh, we do a lot of things. We convert uh, two water mm -hmm. into technology, like let's say breaking up the water into hydrogen oxygen, yes. and converting the hydrogen oxygen into mechanical. And the other one, we convert the hydrogen oxygen into electrical. Okay. So if we just light out of water, mm -hmm. if we just uh, fuel well out of water, out of uh, like say 1600 cc mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. piston, how uh, this may explode. We had that tested in the States, in Sacramento, California. Mm -hmm. It was sponsored by the World Bank. Oh. And we had tested in... in uh, in uh, you need only one liter of water to run in a car for one hour and a half. Mm, nice. Yeah, and the cycle from explosion, engine on cycle. That is how it operates. Uh, well,
when in other countries they produce hydrogen, they cannot be so complicated that they use the the liquefied hydrogen. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's very dangerous. <coughs> so this one, when the hydrogen, the, uh, when the vapor of the hydrogen uh, escapes, it becomes air. It uh, becomes automatically when it is out of the. The test. Analysis of gas sample conducted in 1998 by PIPAC, Philippine Institute of Pure and Applied Chemistry in Ateneo de Manila, certifies that the gas sample through chromatography analysis shows hydrogen. So both the hydrogen and oxygen will go inside the engine? Yeah, it goes to the combustion chamber, mm -hmm. and then when it, when it reaches the combustion chamber, at the at the, at the cycling of the engine, or the let's say the timing one three four two, it marks on one three and four and two. It explodes. When it explodes, it pushes the pieces down, piston back and forth. Yep. That's it how it runs. I mean, this one with the same compression box, okay? Yeah. Yep. Well, here, please.